I was just challenged to do something that I've never done before. Buy a Pokemon card only speaking Japanese. There's a big problem though. Yeah, I don't know how to speak Japanese. And this challenge is just one of 12 total challenges that I have to complete while I'm here in Japan or I'll have to give it all away. What is happening? And I've only got four days to do it. I'll figure out my Japanese along the way, but for now, I already see someone who can help me with one of the challenges. There she is. Hey. It's Poka Chloe. One of the challenges was to get another Pokemon YouTuber to sign a card. And since her favorite Pokemon is Chansey, I had her sign a blizzing. Hey, it's close enough. There it is. Yay. Thank you, Chloe. You're welcome. You're amazing. We just completed one challenge, but we've got a lot more to go. And as I try to figure out where to go next, this is nuts. I have to tell you about how we got here. I actually flew to Japan for Pokemon Worlds. It's like the World Cup for competitive Pokemon players. And although I'm just spectating, because of what's inside this box, the purpose of my trip has changed entirely. My friends over at vault -X made me a custom built DPM binder, but it's no ordinary binder because below each card slot is a smaller slot to insert a note. And in this case, 12 challenges that I have to complete. And some of these challenges are insane. Buy a card using only a translator app? Trade with a competitor at Worlds? Collect a JR Rally stamp? Is that even possible right now? And yeah, that one too. I still have to figure out the whole speaking Japanese thing, but back to the floor. Okay, this is madness. This place is buzzing and there are tons of vendors here. And this guy who just wants to trade, I guess. And that's when I find myself at this vendor's table. Hi, uh, you have a YouTube channel too? Yeah, it's Cards Enter. And it's in French? French, yeah, only French. I have one of the biggest channel in France. Another PokeTuber, and he's from France. We oui, we oui, love to see it. And I'm loving the stacked collection that he has right here. I already see uh, some big, big hitters there. And although all of this is tempting, oh, wow. nice. I'm looking to complete a challenge, specifically challenge number two. I need a gold Japanese card. This beauty is a gold ultra rare energy retrieval from XY7, and it would get me one step closer to my goal. He wanted $75 for it, so instead I gave him my binder for a trade, but that's when he dropped a bomb on me. Are you $700. Are you kidding me? I literally do not have these in my collection and I want them so bad, yet I was here to get the gold card. Here's the deal. Maybe I can have both. I will do that yep. and that for $725. Yeah, oh, let's go. And just like that, we got gold and other cards I didn't know I was gonna get. What just happened? <laughs> I couldn't pass that up. 700 for those three, really good condition. Worlds is starting off wonderfully. That's two challenges down, 10 more to go, zero Japanese learned, and a rush of emotion because there's just so much insane energy here right now. So I just met these two kids. They're from South Africa. Yeah. From Italy. Yeah, oh, right. welcome. This is awesome. The whole world is here. It's worlds, Pokemon worlds. Speaking of insane. Look at this insane legendary Lugia that this guy wants to sell me for 32,000. Okay, not dollars, but yen. But no, I cannot get distracted. Thankfully, in the binder right in front of him, I spy a Japanese dark Houndoom. And Houndoom is my favorite Pokemon. And thankfully, challenge number 11 in this binder is to find exactly that, a Japanese card featuring my favorite Pokemon. He flashes 2,000 yen, which is about 14 or 15 bucks. And just like that, we knock down our third challenge and we're still in day one. We got the Japanese Houndoom. How sick is that? If I can get at least one more today, that would be huge. And that's when it was time to find somebody. A friend of mine who happened to be standing in line to check in to compete the next day here at Worlds. So I figured, let me just go down the line and find him. Little did I know, this was gonna be one of the longest lines I'd ever seen. 15 minutes later. And finally, after walking for what seemed like miles. There he is. It's Julian, AKA OKJ okay Love. And it's his first time competing in the world championships. I give Julian the DPM binder and show him one of the challenges inside. Challenge number 10, get a signed card from you. Hey man, that's me. Yeah, that's you. Having a member of our collector community participate in worlds is a huge deal. And we'll see how he performs later on. But for now, I give him a Typhlosion to sign, which is one of his favorite Pokemon. You must be a fan of the channel because you know I love me some Typhlosion. And after a quick slip into challenge slot number 10, we've completed four of the 12 challenges so far. Dude, go get him out there, right? Thank you, dude. I couldn't have done it without you. I know something else about Julian that may come in handy. You actually speak mostly fluent Japanese. Yeah. That's amazing. I've been signing for quite a while. It's a fun language. If you could teach me how to say thank you, that would be great because I know that's going to be very important here in Japan to be polite. Japanese all about pronunciation. All going to be coming from the chest. <laughs> you ready? Okay. Arigato gozaimasu. Oh, I know arigato. What's the second part? Arigato. Arigato. Gozaimasu. Gozaimasu. Yeah. 
That's all in one. Arigato gozaimasu. One flow, like a wave. Uh, arigato gozaimasu. That's it. Come and pick it up. Let's go. Perfect. Well, I don't know what you just said. Right? <laughs> I said it's perfect. Oh, okay, thanks. <laughs> this is super helpful, but I've got a lot more to learn if I want to actually buy a card speaking only Japanese. And as it gets dark here in Japan, and after an epic drone show to cap it off, wow. Day one was an absolute blast. We've made some great progress, but I'm so tired. It's time to get to bed and recharge. The next morning, I wake up to an amazing view from my room, gather some things, and set out to a new adventure. Okay, it's early morning, day two of the challenge, and I'm headed to Tokyo. There's a lot of things happening in Tokyo, one of the most populous cities in the world. And what's the best way to adventure around Japan? Definitely by train. And check out the entrance to this station, and even the escalator. This entire country is Pokemon crazy right now, and I love it. So I take a train to Tokyo. Yeah! run into a Godzilla, I don't think he's a Pokemon, and then make my way to one of my bucket list items. That's right, a Pokemon Center. Huggers! Where I find a giant Snorlax and a ton of people who are just as excited as I am right now. I mean, look at all this Pokemon stuff. We've got these and those and some of these. Ooh, what are those? I could spend all day in here. This is crazy. This is absolutely nuts. Now, not only am I here for fun, challenge number four on our list is to buy a card from any Pokemon Center. But unfortunately, we have a big problem. All the packs of Pokemon here are sold out. All of them. This is not good. Thankfully, I stumble upon this display of pre-constructed Japanese decks. And right there on the bottom, my favorite Pokemon, Houndoom. We have to get this one. Look how dope that looks. So I pop this in my basket along with a tin of cookies. And man, maybe I should pick up some of these socks too. Oh, hi Pikachu. How'd you get in here? Pikachu. Okay, this store is amazing, but I need to leave now before it's too late. It's time to go eat. I put my card in for the challenge. We got it. At lunch, I take a second to pop that Houndoom in the DPM binder, and that's five down, seven more to go. And to celebrate, I finish my chicken katsu, pull out my phone to plan my next move, targeting challenge number nine, collect a JR rally stamp on any Pokemon card. The Japan Railway Group is hosting their annual JR Pokemon stamp rally right now. It's like a citywide quest where you can collect stamps across several different train stations and redeem them for a prize. This dates back to 1997, where you could have gotten Pokemon cards like these, or even these, which I covered in a video a while back. And first up, I'm gonna hit this station right here. Kinchisho, because it's the closest, and also Pichu. Who doesn't love Pichu? There he is, pointing me in the right direction. We found it. Let's go. I can't believe we found it. I grab one of the rally booklets, and look, the Pichu is already stamped inside for everyone who's questing. And for the challenge, challenge complete. Yes. How cool does that look? We got the Pichu, which was super cool. And now it makes me want to go and find some more. And actually, I think we just unlocked a cyclist. That's right. We're going to try to collect a few more stamps along the way. And based on what I saw earlier, if I get three stamps total, I get an exclusive 2023 JR Rally postcard, which would be super cool. Back on another train, I make my way to the Tokyo Skytree. It's the tallest tower in the world, or at least it once was, but it's huge. And I'm afraid of heights, so not today. But what's cool is that there's a mall underneath and it has another Pokemon Center. And this time it was so crowded, I couldn't even get in. But I did see a Pikachu riding a Rayquaza, which was really cool. After shopping for a bit, I saw some lights, some fish, and some flowers. Seriously, go to Team Labs if you can. I can't even describe how awesome this experience was. And then it was nighttime. Tokyo Drift, let's go. And now I'm in the middle of one of the largest crosswalks in the world, Shibuya Crossing, where over 2,000 people cross at a single time. I've spent an entire day exploring Tokyo, and I can't even believe I'm here. This country is absolutely incredible. I take another train to another JR train station and collect my second stamp for the JR Rally side quest with Sprigatito. I've got six more main challenges to go, but I'm so tired right now, and I think it's time to get back to bed. <sighs> Early the next morning. Day three. And why am I up so early? Coffee. Well, because the Pokemon Company International invited me and a few other creators to take the main stage at Pokemon Worlds. What is happening? I mean, this is where it's going to go down. I can't believe it. And even though I've got less than two days left in the binder challenge, <coughs> taking a moment to be here on this stage with all of these other creators is truly an experience to remember. Wow. Speaking of an experience to remember. Guys, I made it into the exclusive Pokemon store. This is not good, but it's also very good at the same time. And yeah, after one total hour of this, somebody saved me before it's too late. The final bill came out to 199,986 yen. 
Yikes. Yeah, that happened. I'm having so much fun, but I gotta get back on track here because there's a lot at stake with this challenge. I can't lose this binder. And that's when I find Anakin. Who is a competitor, right? You were playing? And one of my goals on the binder was to trade with a player here at World. So this is gonna be okay. you. This is gonna be you. Hopefully, if you like, if you like what I have. So we exchange binders, take a few moments. Oh my gosh. What? What? Ah. And he pulls out my alt art Luminion from Brilliant Stars. And I find in his binder a Pikachu V character rare from Lost Origins. Dude, let's do it. Anakin, you are the goat. So I ask him to sign the card so I can remember how awesome he is. He sticks it in the binder for me to make it official. All right. Yay. Anakin, <laughs> let's go. Thank you so much. And after that, I let him pick out one more card for my binder as a thank you. Take it. Really? Take it. Take the Gengar next to it, too. Take no. it. No. Take it. No, no. You deserve it, Anakin. And a shout out to your awesome parents, too. <laughs> thank you so beautiful. much. Oh, uh, you're good. Now, with five more challenges to go, I'm on a mission. Okay, we're back in the convention hall. I'm a little worried about face at Charizard, especially near main condition. I don't know why they added that condition in there, but. In my rush to accomplish this, I instinctively read mint condition base set Charizard, but it only says base set card. I didn't even realize this until editing this video. I really wish I had noticed my error. I don't even know where these vendors are. There were a ton of vendors here the other day, but today they're nowhere to be found. This could be a problem. I go this way, but all I'm doing is getting in the way of people's pictures. Then I go this way because Squirtle told me to. And all I end up finding is this Snorlax passed out on the floor, which is the position I'm gonna be in if I don't find the vendors right now. And finally, after an hour of looking around the convention center, I find them all outside, lined up along the edge here like an outdoor market. Apparently, they became a fire hazard inside. Speaking of fire, look who I found. It's Ferdy. He's a friend and fan of the channel, which is perfect because challenge number four on the list is to trade with someone I know. And yo, he's got some amazing cards in his binder. Yo, the tag teams are so crazy right now. And from multiple languages too. Korean, Japanese. Oh, that's smart. Chinese, even Spanish. And right then, Ferdy finds something that he likes in my binder. I'm actually a big Jirachi fan. This one definitely yes, caught my eye. That is a sick one. And me? Well, I spy this Korean EVGX. Really? The EV? You'd be down for that? Yeah, absolutely. For the Jirachi? Yeah, absolutely. Another successful trade. Thank you, Ferdy. You are awesome. Definitely check out his YouTube channel if you have a chance. Oh, thank you, man. All right, thank you very I much. I appreciate you. All Let's right. go. That's eight challenges down and four more to go. And these remaining ones are insane. Plus, I've only learned a couple more Japanese words here and there. Definitely not enough to have a conversation yet. For now, I have to take advantage of the fact that all these vendors are right here. I mean, look at all this stuff. So many vendors selling so many things. Do you have a Japanese base set Charizard? No? Base set Charizard? 96? Japanese? No? Okay, thank you. A mint base set Japanese. No, no. Okay. No. Nobody has it, and I'm starting to worry. If only I read the challenge card one more time. Got some stuff, but not what we're looking for. Maybe I'll do one more pass, see what happens. I eventually end up at this guy's spot, and while checking out his binder, I ask. Can I ask you if you have a base set Charizard? Uh, like Japanese base set Charizard? A Japanese base set one? Yeah. He checks his box and pulls out a fat stack of cards to search through, and oh my gosh, he's got so many bangers. And in the third pile, that's when we find Charizard. It's gorgeous, but after a quick inspection... Actually, this is just a different promo. This one Dang. Right. I mean, it's close. Yeah, this is actually an XY promo and a different artwork anyway. Bummer. And after finishing up the stack, hold up. What is that behind all those armored Mewtwo's? No, CP6. Oh, you kidding me? Oh no, this one is from a 2016 anniversary set, and it's the right artwork, but it's not base set. Dude, you're just playing with my heart right now. <laughs> really good pickups and two teases, but not what, what I need. So. Sorry. It's I all was, good, man. It's and now it's getting late, and I still have four challenges left. I need to get one ASAP, and that's when I remember. One of the challenges is to use a translator app to trade, and I'm in the perfect spot because I'm in the middle of a Pokemon International Marketplace. And it's at this vendor spot that I pull out my Google Translator app, select Portuguese, and see what happens. May I trade with you? Posso negociar sim. I can negotiate. Well, okay, it looks like it's on. Can I see your binder? Sim, você pode ver meu o meu binder. Banner, binder. I think I know what that means. Cynthia <laughs> and Explorador VS, Professor Nogueira, Skyla. Cynthia, Cynthia. <laughs> Would you be willing to trade for that card? No, eu não quero trocar ela, desculpa. No? <laughs> This is... And my carta preferida, sorry. Because she's my favorite card, sorry. <laughs> That's okay, I understand. Let's see if I can find another one. Ah, amigos in Sino. That's friends in Sino, but in Portuguese, and I want it. Would you be willing to trade this card? Sim. 
Yes. Yes. Would you like to see my binder? Sim, eu quero ver sua pasta. I want to see your folder. Okay. All right. So I hand him my binder. It's pretty fun. <laughs> and after looking through, he finds a couple trainers that he likes. Ah, Cynthia. Cynthia. Cynthia's ambition. Irida or Cynthia. I have two each of Irida and Cynthia's ambition, and I know how much he likes Cynthia, so that's when I offer him both. Ah, uh, como tenho duas delas, toco por ambas. One, two. Ah, oh, muito obrigado. Yeah. Muito obrigado. <laughs> Thank you for trading with me. Eu que agradeço. Thank you. <laughs> we have a trade. Now that was awesome. A Pokemon trade with someone in another language using a translator app. Yay. Thank you. Thank you, Eric. Let's go. Obrigado. We did it. We did a trade using the translator app. I cannot believe it. And yes, this is the perfect card. Look, amigos in Sinnoh. Because we're friends now. How awesome is that? This is such a fun challenge. And while I pop this memorable card into my binder, I also remember three things. First, I'm not going to have the translator app tomorrow when I try to order a Pokemon card in Japanese. And I still need to study a bit more. And yeah, I don't know how that's going to go. Second, tomorrow is the last day before I leave to go back home. And I have no idea if we'll be able to get this done in time. And three, I'm starving. I haven't eaten anything yet. I take a train, hit up a sushi spot, and look at how amazing that looks. And then finally, I'm back in bed. Passed out, exhausted, with just one day left in the challenge. Are we gonna make it? Final day of Worlds, which means final day of the challenge. Got my world shirt on, just sick. How much time? Let's get it. I grab a cup of coffee, review my plan for the day, and after that, I press up on this elevator because I'm about to meet a friend on the top floor. And yeah, I gotta make sure I look presentable too. Who am I meeting with? There he is. None other than Mr. Gem Mint Pokemon himself, a veteran in the collector community who also happens to be a member of the Gem Mint Club on YouTube. And guess what? One of our remaining challenges is to trade with a member of the Gem Mint Club. And we're going to do a deal right now. I hope. Oh, hey, before you start, I just want to say thank you so much for all your support. That you're like one of the nicest human beings. And I think Card Party is like the marquee event. It's literally like the best event we've ever been to. Thanks, man. Pat, Pat is amazing for the community. We need more Pats in the community. <laughs> and your name is Gem Mint, like the Gem Mint Club. Anyway, you said you had something to trade. I may have picked up a few exclusive items from uh, Worlds. Okay. Something that the staff receive as, as part of their help for supporting the event. You get a staff card. Wait, and you have one of these for me? It could be for you. It could it's be to you. Staff cards from worlds no freaking way and after a few moments of sitting down looking at cards and just chatting about pokemon history with them check out what he found in my binder oh my gosh i was looking through your binder and oh no cool stuff. i picked those up earlier at worlds to to get something in the binder did you really i did i did but i don't this isn't part of the challenge if it wasn't for that trade on day one i might not have been able to make this happen I mean, the staff card would be absolutely bonkers. So if you'd be down. You a deal? I, I, yeah. It's a deal. Are you sure? Let's do it. Dude. Man. Let's yes. go. Oh, baby. No way. I can't believe you did it. For the challenge, let's go. I know the screen promos, but we can always get those later. But a staff promo at Worlds, that's crazy. And as I put this awesome staff card into my binder, at this point, I can't imagine giving this thing away. I mean, there are too many memories stored in here, so I have to make this work. I only have two challenges left. But before that, I hop on another train and make my way to the Yokohama station where, yep, I'm gonna get my third and final stamp for my side quest, which is the Tatsugiri stamp. Boom, the stamp is on, which means all we gotta do is go to the goal counter. And just around the corner in this same station, there's the goal. <laughs> We made it. And after I quickly show them my stamp collection for approval, I get the prize. We got it. The exclusive postcard. We did it. Thank you. Let's go. This is the exclusive World's JR Rally postcard, which can only be obtained in this way. Our side quest is complete, but that's just the side quest, of course. The last two challenges are the toughest out of this entire binder, so I have to give myself the best chance to succeed. How am I gonna do that? Welcome to Akihabara, a district of Tokyo considered to be the epicenter of all things electronics, anime, manga, and yes, trading cards here in Japan. I immediately head into one of the stores, and besides this vending machine, oh, hi Erica, inside there's nothing but anime figures, which is really cool, but not what we're looking for. I go into another store, all figurines. I have to find a card store, and on my Google Maps, right next door, I go up some stairs and enter this joint, and there are cards everywhere. The problem is I don't see any Pokemon cards. So I use another word I just learned in Japanese to get this guy's attention. So, uh, Pokemon cards? Uh, starter deck, no only. 
Oh, no, starter no, decks only? No, got no singer, no pop, uh, no pop. I got that question. Okay, I caught some of what he said, including that Pokemon Cardo means Pokemon cards, so that's easy enough. But yeah, they only have starter decks here, so that's not gonna work. I need to find a base at Charizard and fast. While walking around, I remembered that OK Jlib gave me some recommendations for store in this area. I wonder how he's doing in the tournament. Well, we'll find out later. But in a DM, he said to go to Otachu, which was just around the corner from where I was at. Otachu. Oh my gosh. Am I in Pokemon card heaven right now? I go over to the fire type cabinet and oh no. Oh no. It looks like the Charizard I need is on a wanted poster. Does that mean it's not here? It has like all the other good stuff. Look at all that. Those are the CD promos. Oh, wait, hold up. I think we found what we were looking for. Dude, there it is. Okay, let's see how many berries this is gonna cost me. It's 20... 20,000 yen. All right, not too bad. Yeah, I'm pausing here to let you know that I was wrong and very wrong. Just keep watching and you'll find out how wrong I was. Okay, keep going. On the way to the counter, I pull out my translator app and type in a request. How do I buy, whoa, Stripe guy coming through, a card from the cabinet, please. Then I show it to the employee. Just one of three. Okay. okay. And then all of a sudden, we're on our way to the cabinet and wow, there are a lot of people in here right now. They open it up and I take a little look just to make sure and yeah, this thing is minty fresh. Yes. All right. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. I cannot believe we found it. We did it. Two thumbs up for that one. Actually, one more time. That's four thumbs up. Now let's go pay for this thing. Do you remember how I thought this thing was 20,000 yen? Uh, oh no, it's 20,000 20, 20, yen. Well, I was wrong. This symbol here, that's not sen, which is thousands of yen. That symbol is man, which is 10,000s of yen. So 20 times 10,000. This is a 200,000 yen card, which as you can see on the card machine, that's a thousand plus dollar card. $1,443. But I wasn't backing out. I signed for it, get the card. I got the SMS. What? And while in the elevator, it hits me. Ooh. Yeah, 200,000 yen. <laughs> and on top of that, when I exit the elevator, oh my gosh, buckets. it's raining buckets outside. And I'm holding a card. Let's put this in the case and we're gonna go do our last and final task. I put on my rain jacket, which I apparently forgot how to do. And take a moment to pop the Charizard into the binder. Let's go. This mistake turned into an amazing adventure and an awesome pickup. And just like that, we're down to one challenge left. The big one. Can I really do this? I felt like I was ready before, but now I'm not so sure. And I even enter a store next door only to turn right around because I'm just too nervous. But if I gave up, I wouldn't just be losing another challenge and not just this binder and the cards inside either. I'd be losing all of the memories I created along the way. Amazing memories like meeting new friends from all around the world and seeing familiar faces here too. Stepping foot in places I never thought I would be. Places that are new and places that are a part of history. The moments of peace, to the moments of chaos, the moments of surprise. Oh, hello. From the wins and through all the fails. Oh, please, please, no. Oh. Japan has been incredible. And to think I wouldn't even be here if it weren't for Pokemon. I can't throw that all away. You know, I was supposed to come here to fill up this binder. And in a way, this binder has filled me. Okay, that's actually really corny, but I think you know what I mean. I need to complete this challenge. And the only way that I'm gonna do it is to try my best. Uh, konnichiwa. Konnichiwa. Um, <laughs> uh, kurasai, Pokemon Kado, um, Deskamas, or, uh, um, Pokemon Kado, Konu Dekimasu ka? That's over there. Okay. Um, uh, Braki, Motemasu ka? Braki. Braki. Uh, the, um, Suki. Suki. Braki? Braki. <laughs> yeah, I think he's laughing because he knows what I'm trying to ask for, the Moonbrion, but just in a very interesting way. He then showed me a cabinet where there were some cards related to Eevee Heroes, but that's not what I was looking for. And as far as singles... Sold out. Sold out? Yeah, sold out. I really wanted an Umbreon though, so he asked me if I wanted these Umbreon VMAXs instead. Hi, hi, son. Sun. And yeah, I asked for three. I don't know. It was the first number in Japanese that came to mind. I go to pay for the cards and just like that, as embarrassing and challenging as that was, we did it. We did it. The Japan Binder Challenge is now 100% complete. We did it.
Japan. I love it. And I get to keep the memories of this trip locked in this binder forever. Speaking of, if you want to get a DPM binder just like this one, along with memento cards to add below each slot, there's a limited pre-order opportunity now available at vaultx.com slash DPM. You could write down your own challenges, remember who you traded with or where you got your pickups, or even use it to add a price tag. Again, this binder is only available for a limited time and ships in early 2024. So go to vaultx.com slash DPM for more. And be sure to check out the next challenge right here. Oh, and congrats to OKJLA for placing number 63 in the entire world, dude, that's awesome. Awesome.